everybody, so I'm back at the Philadelphia Zoo and I am going to continue on my commentary of our 19-year-old Plains Zebras, Laura, here to my left, and her half-sister Susie, and our 16-year-old White Rhino Tony. Let me see where he's, he's at. There you are, big boy. Now get this. I just learned that a zebra stripes disperses 70% of the sun's heat off their bodies to keep them from getting sunburned. Isn't that amazing or what? In my last video, I explained how you can identify our zebra girls. For example, Laura has a lot more stripes on her legs and she has a big long black line down her back. While Susie, on the other hand, has a zigzag marking if you look closely at her back here, and her legs are almost completely white. These magnificent stripes can help them hide in tall grasses from predators, like lions, for example. Now get this when it comes to rhinos. A newborn white rhino calf can weigh as much as 50 to 100 pounds at birth. Oh, that is humongous. I've even learned that as rhinos are running to their favorite water, water hole, or mud hole, I should say, they squeal in excitement and anticipation. When it comes to animals like rhinos and zebras, their ears have thousands of muscles on the inside so they can listen out for danger. Hmm, I wonder where they're running off to. Well, let's go see, shall we? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to bump my elbow there. Ah, they ran over here where there's more hay, I see. Zebras don't neigh and whinny like horses do. Nope, 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 nope. That's not what they sound like. They actually make a sound effect that sounds a lot like high-pitched barking. Yes, that's right. Zebras actually make a barking sound. That sound can serve as many different purposes. I'm sorry, I mean for many different purposes, like when there's danger approaching. Yeah, and I'm sorry if this video will come out in bad quality. I thought this iPhone would be a lot better than the last one I've owned, but huh, what you gonna do? Usually our girls love to come out no matter how hot or cold it is, but sometimes if, it, if it's extremely cold, they will not be out at all. Tony, I know for sure, never comes out when it gets way too cold, like when there's ice on the ground. It's also for their own safety, since we would not want for them to slip and fall and hurt themselves. Alright, now to see where Tony is, because he done disappeared. Oh wait, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Now I also have mentioned the last time that rhinos do temporarily form herds, like crash. However, I learned that males usually are solitary while females mostly will be in the herds when it comes to his subspecies. I have read that they are docile when it comes to humans and tend to run off in fear. But still, they're wild animals and they can charge. And those horns are not just for show. What the 
real sorry about the noise in the background. Some guys are doing some construction work. In the wild, rhinoceros can live up to 50 years of age. In zoos, it's usually longer. One of the greatest things here in the zoo is that members, whenever they get a chance to do behind the scenes, they get to pet and brush Tony. Okay, this is all I will do for today, and I will be back with some more interesting facts in my next video. Everyone have a good day.